Hello, I'm Michelle Marsden and welcome to Craft Academy. I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous little easel card and it couldn't be simpler. If you've got a couple of shaped cards or even square cards, identical in size, that's just knocking around in your craft room, you don't know what to do with them, this is a perfect card. So, to make one of these, I've got a couple of identical cards. These are nice little shaped cards. And one of them, I've actually scored down the centre. So if I just show you that, I've actually scored down the centre there. And that becomes part of your easel. So that forms the easel shape. Then the other card, I'm going to stick onto the bent over piece. And then it will open up so you can actually write your message as well. So it's just a little bit different, but very effective. So I'm just going to put some tape just on the bottom half of the, of the folded card. You don't want to put anything on the top. So put some tape there. Or you could use a bit of wet glue or spray glue or whatever tape pen, whatever you like to use. And then I'm going to line the card up with the spines at the top with the shaped card. And because they're identical in shape, it's going to sit perfect. There we go. So now you can see, you get the, the bendiness of the easel. And like I showed you earlier, you get the bit where you, you're going to be able to write in as well. So I've actually pre-cut some matting and layering. And matting and layering is, is your choice to how you want it to be. I've cut mine just slightly smaller than the area of the card and then the mat that goes on top is probably about five mil smaller again. And that's what I'm going to do now to make my card look pretty. So once again, we need to tape this onto the actual card. I'm just peeling that off. But you could use, if you didn't want to do any matte and layering, you could use your distress inks, you could use acrylic paints, whatever it is that you like to craft with. This is the uh, Lovely in Lace, which is really pretty. And I think it works lovely on this card. So I'm just going to mat that there. And then, as you can see, it's starting to take shape. So now we've got the front, so I'm just going to turn it round to make sure I get everything right. And that's going to go on there. So now I'm just going to decorate the front like I would a regular card. I've laid it flat. And at home, I would probably put more, well, I would. I'd put more tape on to hold it. So there we go. And then the next piece. And then we've just got one more piece for the inside and I'm going to actually pop it on here because I've got something else for that. You don't need to decorate this bit if you don't want. I just think it's nice to make the whole thing look finished. Then I've got the front, which I've got a mat here, and I've got a lovely little topper there, so that's going to sit on the front. So it's got, it's got a topper on the front of the card, just like you would have with a regular greeting card. So the process of making this easel card is, is, is quite similar really, just a few extra little steps. And then just some foam pads or sticky buds or whatever it is you want to use, acrylic, silicone, anything like that to make it raised on the back of the topper. 
put that the right way up. And then I've cut myself a little strip, which is just the same width as my little mats, because that is going to form the stopper here. This is going to be act as a, like a little book bar. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. So I'll just peel them off. I'll stick that about there. You can, you can put it further back if you wish, if you, want, if you wish the card to stand up further. So now, when you stand your card up, it keeps it stood up and then obviously some glitter and that kind of thing would look fabulous to finish off the card and it's as easy as that.